we get off we'll do the best album of woo foo okay so we're just gonna get through this and then we're gonna go to the uh, woo foo okay that's it man said i need her whoever said that you're getting banned it's had botox what do you think of that <laughs> where at this right here oh that might be crazy that's a deal breaker i'm on natural but <laughs> Welcome to the buttons. Y'all got a problem with Botox or like plastic surgery? As long as it look good, like I really don't. As long as it don't, as long as it look good, it doesn't age you. It's not harmful to your body. You good in my book. Speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Get out of here. If two people I've still not been able may press it and swap to find this dude's T. I've still not been able to find it, bro. I want to find it so bad and I still haven't found it. About their date. What is it? What is on his T? What shirt is this? It's got cuffed. It's got cuffed uh like cut off sleeves and it's cropped. When was the last time you seen good Botox? and pull it up i don't i don't know it's a kobe shirt hmm where would i get a kobe crop top what the fuck zoom in i can't he probably cut the shirt i gotta i gotta remember that i could low-key cut shirts but i feel like that's such a huge waste of my money and then also you know what y'all right why did not think of that for a new person. But you know how dumb it's gonna look if i cut like a tupac shirt at the nose and his eyes is just looking i don't know bro get out of here if two people can last on a date for 10 minutes having a tupac crop is insane too they win oh no i might not be like that second date this episode was you too skinny to be doing all that elijah first of all don't talk about my body number one all right your bitch should go crazy over it second of all I do what the fuck I want, whether that's crop or regular style. I'm gonna pull it off regardless, cause I'm him. Uh, third of all, yeah, like I said before, uh, keep your shit on your side, and I keep my shit on my side, bitch. Crazy. Native. Tupac crop is wild though. I ain't gonna lie. Partnership with Native. Native has supplied their new deodorant and body wash that has naughty and nice scents. Will our hopeful singles match with someone who's naughty or nice? Let's find out. My name is Bonko. Nice to meet you. Bonko? What the fuck, bro? Y'all can't call y'all can't say any shorts that I've worn are too short. Let's find out. This this right here My name is, is booty nice. shorts to the max. It is what it is. Do do your thing, but it's just like that's a lot right there, bro. Like chill gang. Yeah. Bonko? Yes. I'm Sophia. Where are you from? I'm from Bulgaria originally. Damn, Bonko's ripped. This <laughs> nigga like building body. Do you work out? Um, yeah. How many times a week? I'm probably not as much as you. <laughs> What's your favorite exercise in the gym? Oh my God, bro. Please don't let this be your personality. A lot of cardio and then- A lot of cardio? What's your favorite cardio machine? Oh my fucking God. Put, hit the button, bro. Uh, I guess just the treadmill. Hit the button. Treadmill? Uh, yeah. Did you incline treadmill? Hit the button. Oh, uh, when they tell me to. <laughs> what are your favorite? What's your favorite? Right now. I'm so sorry. Yeah, why'd you reject me? Why why not? Why why would she keep you? What are you talking about? I think maybe you work out too much for me. Yeah, I think you don't work out enough. <laughs> oh, <man>. Niggas. <laughs> bro, like it's really it's really just like bro. God damn. Oh man. Yo, this cover is thick as fuck. Oh my god. That was a crazy violation. You're right. He didn't have to do all that. Sean trying to hide his body. <laughs> that was a good one. Uh, oh my god, you're so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm comfy as shit right now. That's crazy. I'm in a worm. Got you looking zesty. Who? I know you ain't talking to me. Cocoon ass nigga. That's what I'm saying. Oh my God, bro. I could legit like just fall asleep right here on stream. Oh my God. I'm really, I'm really, I'm really like, oh my God, bro. This is crazy. It's like, nah, you sexy daddy looking like American gangster. 
Did you just call me a click? What the fuck? W foreskin. How old is you, big bro? That blanket look fire. Bro, I'm effervescent as fuck right now. You can be jealous as much as you want. I'm him and you not. Calling me a clit is crazy. Especially after all the body positivity I've done in this chat, like, the last year and shit. For y'all to come at me like this is actually insane. I've been a teacher to you since you was born. And this is the type of shit that you gonna do? I feel it, though. It is what it is. You'll give me titty milk. From the nip or just gonna pour it in a bottle? Let me know. <laughs> Okay. You two would have been a cute couple. Probably not. <laughs> my name's Ken. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm Sophia. That's my daughter's name. Oh, okay. You got a kid. Do you just have Hit one the button. daughter. Mm-hmm. She's four. She's about to be five this February. And you on this show? Hit Is the that button. A deal breaker? Hit the uh, button. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I guess. I don't think so. I guess not. What do you do for it? I'm a dental hygienist. Nah, oh, bro. <laughs> Sophia has had Botox. What do you think of that? <laughs> yeah, it didn't light up red, but I would have got out of here. Oh, Did you really, really get Botox? I haven't gotten a little Botox. Where at? This right here. Uh, I'm That's not that bad, though, to be honest. Like, my sister has had Botox before, but it's the type of Botox that you use. Like, she got in a car accident, and the Botox helps with, like, pain. So it's different. If somebody literally says they got Botox, a lot of people assume that it's immediately for like cosmetic reasons. And sometimes it can be for, uh, you know, for, for pain reasons. I feel like in the location that she got it, I don't know why she would get it there. I don't know what that would do, but I don't know. Yeah. You got to be really careful with uh, Botox. She didn't use it for cosmetic reasons. She got no chin. He looked like he drive a dirty <laughs> Bro, chill. That might be crazy. That's a deal breaker? I'm all natural, <laughs> baby. <laughs> Why'd you do that? I'll probably get more Botox, so. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Yeah, we gotta go then. That's good. That was a crazy you exit. Bring girl on if you want. It's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab someone else. <laughs> bring him in. Nice to meet you. Oh, she don't want to do this no more. Oh, I thought you were gonna tap the oh, button. Bring it. So last Not time that all right. Bro, he got that Elden Ring jaw. You remember when you was making your character on Elden Ring and they gave you the option to go up with your jaw? Like, he got that. Why does it start so high? That's crazy. So, what's your deal? I mean, like, life-wise, currently I work as a substitute teacher. That's crazy. Um, I do cosplay. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Okay, uh, I am a teacher at Franklin, and really? I yeah, I love going to Comic Con and dressing really? up. Oh, so. Aww, that's so sweet. Fact about Xavier, he has an irrational fear of urinals. Why does the okay. button like doing this to niggas? <laughs> like in middle school or high school or whatever, if you go to the bathroom, you're just unguarded. I'm saying, bro. Okay, that's that is not irrational. That is not irrational at all. I've literally had, I've had friendship level worth ending debates about this shit when i go in the fucking bathroom dog and i sit there the fact that there is no wall or guard next to me and a bunch of other niggas could just see everything that i'm doing by just peeking over is crazy they don't give a fuck about men in bathrooms they don't i go in there use the shit and it's like i literally have to put my whole dick in the urinal basically to, to just prevent myself from being able to be exposed to the dude standing next to me, bro. And I'm in between two niggas most of the time. If I can, I try to grab the stall that's closest to the wall so that at least one side of me, I don't have to worry about. But the, old, the other shit, bro, like, I should be able to use a urinal and it should be a big wall between me and the, nigga, and the nigga next to me, dude. This is actually insane. And it's like this at every public restroom. Every one. I shouldn't have to go in a stall to use the bathroom and feel safe. It's bullshit. That's not irrational. Button a bitch for that. Button a bitch for that, bro. Button a bitch. And I know niggas be like, especially if it's a lot of niggas and we got to wait. Nah. It be a lot of niggas in there sometimes, sometimes too. It, sometimes the stalls be all, they don't want to be old. Sometimes the stalls are all taken and you left with nothing but dick in public in public space bro my back hurt when i screamed just now i can't lie
Nah, it's not as simple as calm down. It's not as simple as calm down. I don't know you niggas. Why are we all dick out next to each other, bro? This shouldn't be the standard. This shouldn't be the standard, bro. That's really annoying. I gotta put. I'm. I'm basically. Imagine that. This, no, 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 bro. You need a visual. You need a visual. I'm sorry. You need a visual. You need a visual. Imagine this is the stall. Like this is the urinal right here. Let me make it big. That sounds crazy. Imagine this is the urinal right here. I'm gonna cover my shit right now because niggas is gonna be like on shit. Okay. Imagine this is the urinal right here. This is the edge of it. And I have to put my penis right here in order to use the bathroom. I got to be like this. Basically to use it safely. All up on it. And then still got to look over. And sometimes. Look. And sometimes. And sometimes. Your dick touches the inside of the urinal. Sometimes your dick touches the, the inside of the urinal. Sometimes while it's flushing, your shit still be in there and the toilet water that's being flushed splashes against your dick. Because you got to be so deep in to prevent other niggas from seeing you. Who the fuck said you was peeing on hard for that? What are you talking about? See, niggas be, okay, niggas make me nervous. Niggas make me nervous. <sighs> Had to wrap myself back up. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> bro, I'm so uh, I'm so annoyed, bro. I'm actually so annoyed. Right, niggas, just because you got little willies, little wanker. You would chop what off? You would chop your meat if you if it touched the urinal? Bro, you know what's crazy? Even if it did, I I I wa look. Oh my god. I watched my shit too good. Jesus. Okay, hold on, hold on. Cause this is getting crazy. Says the man who said five inches is big. <sighs> Wait, what are you talking about? I didn't say that. I didn't say what was big or not big. I just said what's enough. I know this shit cozy as hell. You want to join? I got room in here. I ain't gonna lie. It's so cute. Sometimes I put my nephew in here with me. And we just be like uh, burritoed up. Just chilling. He fell asleep in here one time. It pained me to have to take him out. Crazy. We just be chilling. You said Link. Oh, nah. Hold on. Oh, my God. I got to. Mm. Hold on, chat. But I'm just saying, this is not irrational at all, and I'm really surprised that Button would even put bro out here like this. That's all I'm saying. I don't think that's irrational at all. Unless you snuggle. Nigga, it's mad niggas that we... Oh, I found you! You thought I forgot about you, didn't you, bitch? I ain't forget about what you did. I did not forget about what you did. We gonna come up with a punishment for bro. Hey, yo, y'all know Black Baby Jesus. I'm snitching right now. Y'all know Black Baby Jesus is the one who spoiled Attack on Titan for y'all in the beginning of the stream, right? Get him. Yeah, the spoiler, nigga. It's him. Yeah, it's him. <laughs> it's him. We ain't forget, bitch. I've been on your dome whole time. I've been waiting for you to say something. I've been waiting for you to fuck up. I've been waiting for you to fuck up, whole ass nigga. Yeah, I'm about, to, I'm about to fix him. Hey, yo, Black Baby Jesus, D DM me on Twitter real quick. Let me do something for you. No cat, why Sean built like a dick? First, bro, okay, y'all gotta go. Y'all gotta go outside. 
in no way, shape, or form am I in like in any way, shape, or form am I looking like a penis at all. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm. No, because seriously, this, if anything, looked like more like a turtle. Or not a turtle. Hey, I got a kind of like, I got a nice little figure. Look at how tall I am. Bro, come on. Bro, come on, seriously. I look like an Elden Ring boss. I look like an Elden Ring boss. I look like an Elden Ring boss. You wouldn't fight me for real. Not like this. Not like this. Not not as I am now. No way, shape, or form I look like a penis, bro. Stop. The way I sat down. I didn't have a choice but to sit down like that. Me being on my tippy toes is crazy. <sighs> I'm trying to scoot forward. I'm not getting no, I'm not gaining no distance. All right. I thought I heard something. I look like the white lady on Christmas day. Bro, don't worry about it. You said you're 5'10". I never said that. I never said that. I've always said I was six feet. <clears throat> Bro, calm down. Bankai calling you. Mm -hmm. If anyone lightly taps you, you just like fall into the urinal. So I don't know. Like oh shit! Kind of you thing. can't see the video. No, my bad. I just start playing it, just knowing. I just knew y'all could see what I could see. Hold on, we gotta get through this video so I can do the woo -foo -foo. so I can show niggas what's really up. Um, you're just unguarded. Mm -hmm. If anyone lightly taps you, you just like fall into the urinal. So I don't it's know. like a germaphobe kind of a thing. No, it's just like you get pushed into a urinal, so your day is just ruined. That's no, I don't be getting pushed in. It's just I put beard conditioner on today. That counts. That counts. Is hygiene important? Yes. What? I have a very sensitive sense of smell. But... Let's put this to the test. Give him a good whip. Get over to it. Get over to it. Do I have to? <laughs> Where do you want me to you smell go. you? I don't know. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Any girl smell me, she getting she going she going crazy. I'm sorry. If you wanna if you wanna find me completely irresistible, don't smell me. Just don't smell me at all. Cause it's 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 not you're not gonna leave the same way you came in. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I'm trying to get out and and like stay in. Okay, if that if that if that's when you wanna call me Mr. Bitches, then yeah, I am. I'm definitely Mr. Bitches in that in that regard. When it comes to you dropping a random like you you just randomly smelling me. <sighs> Nah, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Savage, Ed Hardy, the one with the fist on it, Tom Ford. It's a bunch. It, like, bro, you can't, you can't, you're not fucking with me, bro. Yeah. You smell like native. Does he smell naughty or nice? He smells nice. What did you choose? Candy cane. Great. Working great. I think you two are really cute together. They are. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you down for $1 margaritas? Oh my god. Bro. Bro. Are you unsure? Bro. Bro. Sorry. Back to the dating app, ask, everybody. Ask her why. What the fuck? I just, no, I get it. No. Like that was a I thought that was a good that was a yeah, good talk. But it's I'd be interested in talking more. I had a good time though. I, it was really good to meet you. Bro, you should have heard her. This is the third time this has happened. Third time, bro. Does pineapple make all right, bro? Are you okay? Why are you why are you talking like that? Like I can't see you. I see you. I literally see you. Bro, he gon' he about to be on the news. Nice to meet you, Celeste. How you feeling? You look down. I feel really bad because, like, I did like him a lot, but also I don't want to not leave my options open, I guess. Nice to meet you. I'm Daniel. Uh, I'm Celeste. I mean, that's reasonable, though. But, like, still, that nigga about to go off himself in the back room. How's it been going for you? So far, so good. Daniel's red flags are. How is she an L for that? What's wrong with keeping your options open? 
Like, I want to explore more. I don't think it's because she found him ugly, to be honest with you. Like, I don't think that's a that's a terrible thing. Like, if he was amazing, like, if he was actually good looking, she probably would have picked him up, like, immediately. But, like, waiting for more isn't that bad, bro. People who can't take a joke. Tell her a joke and see if she can take it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if we're hanging out, like, I like to give people shit sometimes. Yeah, me too. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. I give my friends shit all the time. That's cool. Why are they zooming? Oh, it's the gum tr Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, I get it's it. Cool. Why'd you press the button? You're smacking your gum, and it was kind yeah. of gross. You're right. Know? Sorry, I forgot to spit it out before I came <laughs> out okay, here. It's okay. It's okay. I get it. Nice it was really you. nice to meet you. you too. I get it. I'm Celeste. Nice to meet you, Evan. Okay. How old are you? It looked like 19. Why does every nigga that don't look old just immediately look 19? That's like the only age you can look. I'm 21. 21? Yeah. I wasn't that you? far off. I'm about to turn 26. How do you feel about younger guys? <laughs> kind of depends on Wait, the Wait, she's younger than me? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Okay. What was your most uh, toxic moment? Might be just sometimes I take more than I give. Okay. In terms of a relationship. I don't know. Just... Oh, oh! I'm sorry. You're a nigga. It's okay. All good. All good. She was not bad. I didn't mean. He smells nice. What did you get rid of Xavier? Who you connected with? I just, with I just wanted to see who else was here. I guess because dating is like about experimenting and meeting multiple people. He's 100% correct. Just meeting one person and being done with it. He's 100%. Would you like to see Xavier again? Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay, good shit. Do you think he would want to go on a second date with you? I hope so. It sounded like happy hour was in the cards. Evan. Yeah. Will you go ask Xavier if he would like to come back? Of course, of course. I'll do that. Again. All right. <laughs> Guess we'll see what he says. Yo, imagine he come back and she reject him again. Oh, oh my God. There's no way, right? Because <laughs> I would just here. be crazy. From the grave. I'm not gonna lie though, I wouldn't come back. She would have just had to lose out on me. I wouldn't come back. I got some like dignity. I'm with you than the other guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> I do have to hit the button though. Yeah. That's fair. I don't play second chances. There we go. Okay. I'm glad you got some I'm glad you got some self respect, okay? Glad you got some dignity. <laughs> now I feel bad. Hello. W <laughs> thought process. I like it. My name's Asia. What do you do for work? Business teacher. Uh, Asia, you are still in high school. Get the fuck out my face. In high school, and then I coach on the side. So what do you coach? Volleyball and basketball. Oh, I did volleyball all throughout high school. That's awesome. I have no idea what I'm doing. Really? And the kids know, which is cool. Oh, yeah, but you know, we, her we eyebrows are fucking okay. insane. Yeah. Good job. What the fuck? The kid. What is going on here, my boy? What? Okay, so this is my question, right? To everybody who paints their eyebrows on, like, what's going on? Like, did you know that I can see him? Especially in this harsh light. I am leaving her be. I am. Not paints, but draws. You like them to look drawn on. Are you fucking serious? Or are you trolling? Nigga said, where does it end? I don't know, but I feel like if I pictured the, the idea of a perfect eyebrow, like my sister always told me when I was growing up that I had perfect eyebrows, but I learned that just like per person, like the eyebrows that you're born with are usually what works best for you and doing anything extra are, is like usually the most, unless you got like a unibrow or something like that. But usually what you're born with is good enough to do the job. Do I draw my beard? Does it look like I would need to draw my beard? You bitch. Kids know, which is cool, oh, yeah, but you know, we, we won some games. Okay. Good times, yeah. Good job. Oh, with that, with You've been asked before by a woman if I draw my eyebrows. I am a man. Apparently, she thought my eyebrows were too good. That sometimes happens. I've been accused of that, too. So, you're not, you're not alone. But that's subjective. But, yeah, it is. Uh, him getting rejected right here is crazy. I do. I'm sorry. <laughs> were you hitting it? No. Oh, I don't know. oh. oh my God, please don't. Oh. Oh my god bro, he just came back I, he just he just this is the equivalent of getting revived on like on zombies and then immediately dying 
That was such an old term. I wish they had zombies in Call of Duty again, bro. The game would actually be fun to play. I'm out of here. It's nice meeting you, Kyle. How you reject it twice, bro? You got revived by the same girl, and then you hit no. So now you leave with nothing because your dignity and self-respect was too high. Low-key, you should have just took the date from her a second time around. Because now it's fucked. I'm doing? doing good. Doing how the other guys do. Um, he was really sweet and stuff. He's really sweet. Just not my type, but it's okay. It's not your type. Do you get naughty or nice? This nigga's 5'6". Five, Fives from him. His uh, his flannel matches his pants. Get him up out the way, please. I feel like I get nice vibes, but I'm sure that you have like a wild side. That's the vibe I'm getting. Yeah, like I yeah, he got a fucking earring. Of course, he got a wild side. He does coke in his spare time. You got a wild off the Bible side, but you just really got to get get to know me. I don't let that out to everybody. Oh, interesting. Do you have a wild side? I would say I am fully myself all the time, and that's a lot. <laughs> How tall are you? Me, I'm five four. Holy shit. I told you. Oh my God. I hate this. Who did first? We think she beat you to it, Warren. She be oh, my, my hand was on the bottom. I though. appreciate you, Warren. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> nah, when bro Warren. got up, though. <laughs> God damn, this what bro looked like when he stood up. This was as big as he went. Okay. Hi. Hello. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Asia. Asia? Nice Sorry. to meet you. Mecca. Yeah. Mecca. Nice to meet you, Mecca. I like your outfit. Okay, here we go. Decent looking nigga. Outfit. Here we go. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. The hair kind of fucking it up, and the, and the gold teeth kind of fucking it up too. But you, you got some. You working with something? I have a question. Do you find each other attractive? I would say yes. Oh, thanks. And you have a really nice face, I and you have cool hair. You. Okay, I appreciate that. Which deodorant did you choose? I chose the spiked eggnog. The hair not it only because he he could get braids at this point. Your hair this long, bro. You just go ahead and get the braids. Okay. Good choice. Good choice. Or the twists. What do you think I chose? Not you're nice. Since or the locks. You look kind of more naughty. I feel like you chose nice. And she just oh, okay. interesting. Did you choose an audio one? Maybe. Ah, uh, interesting. Yes, I should I have went within character. Yes, I did. I did. I did. What did you choose? A lump of coals. All right, let's practice something. Hold each other's hands. Hold each other's hands. All right. Your hands feel kind of coarse. What coarse? do you, What do you do for work? I work with my family's business. Uh, it's a construction services business. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So I do like a lot of manual labor and whatnot. Even when they're like moisturized, they're still like very like rough. There was lotion in the bag. There was. I, hey, like I have some native, native lotion. Do you want to go grab him some lotion? Like like massage his hands? Sure. Oh God. <laughs> oh yeah, nah. Let me see your hands again. It's about to be a different situation now. What, what scent is that? <laughs> Candy cane? It came out. Say less. We're like getting in there. That's cool. Nah, this might do something to me. Nice. Okay. That? that was good. That was good. Look, my hands look better already. Here you go. I'm gonna light up one more time. Mm -hmm. Bro, did I tell y'all how I how I got how I got uh like what do you call that? I'm trying to think of a different word than the word that I'm about to use. Um, coerced. I tell you, I got coerced into having like a little mini relationship with a girl who rubbed my hand. I didn't know what that would do to me until she did it. I don't remember telling you that. Be precise. Yeah, I was being very, very precise. No, no, no. We had got each other's like information, and then like as she was leaving, she grabbed my hand to. Like, I don't know why she did that, but she grabbed my hand. She moved it to the side. And she was like, I like your tattoos. But as she was leaving, she started rubbing my hand as she was going. And in my mind, I was like, I'm probably not going to go nowhere with this. But she started rubbing it as she left. And I was like, oh, nah. <laughs> I was like, oh, God, no. What happened? And I'm like, wait, this seems like a thing that I might get into. And that's all. That's all. That was, that's the whole story time. But like, I am a victim. I mean, I wouldn't say I got coerced, but I didn't expect her to do that. Like, she really grabbed my shit and then started moving. Like, she just knew what pressure point to hit in the hand. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know about you. That's kind of crazy. I like it, though. And if you don't. Like, keep your stop, but keep going. Press me. You in the button. When you get to go to I don't like holding hands. But then again, I'm not extremely publicly affectionate with people. So, like, if I'm into somebody and we out and about, um, I'm not super, super affectionate. 
like we could kiss and things like that but like holding hands i feel like it's going too far like I'm, i feel like i'm doing too much a second date and get to know each other a little bit more. but if she want to like and it's like a big deal then we'll hold hands but like i'm not usually just like hey babe let's hold hands let's skip through the park or something like that like ah, i don't think so sounds good do it if you want it. nothing That's wrong with you. it i'm positive you know i'm comfortable where i stand I'm, this is exciting all right so will you go on a second date with me i will go on the second date with you say less <laughs> congratulations you're <laughs> fun we're gonna pay for your second date, and also you get to take some native products home with you. Thank These trash you. ass native Let's products. Let's know where the wedding is. <laughs> Experience naughty and nice holiday scents by Native. Head to Native. Pop. You like when your boyfriend holds your hand and puts it in his pocket. So you hold a nigga pockets? Hold on. I'm trying to think about how that looks in my head, and it just looks like y'all are criminals in my head. Like if you, if I'm trying to think of like two people approaching me and both of their hands are in one person's pocket, I just be like, I might have to shoot these niggas. His jean pocket is honestly worse. Like that's actually giving me like PTSD. Like I might have to run up on y'all niggas. That's kind of crazy. No, no, just one of each person's hands. One in each person? Y'all be putting y'all hands in each other's pocket? Hold one hand, both in pocket. What? Hold one hand, both in one pocket. That's awful! What is what are you cooking? No, nah, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm gone. I'm done now. Like what? What are you saying? That's handy? Nah, nigga. You trying to get handsy. If a nigga approached me and his girl got their hands in his pocket, I imagine if they both grabbed each other's back pocket. Grabbing the back pocket is just that's like 1980s. But like both hands in the one pocket, I don't know, bro. That's different. What we feeling? At that point, especially if I'm wearing jeans, we not both of us are feeling nothing but dick. I'm sorry. Now, hands and joggers, different. Now I can see us Nah. Nah, I don't see I don't see no other possibility. Jeans is crazy. You about to send me a picture of what it looks like? Oh holy shit. Please no. Oh chat, what are we about to see? This is awful. It's so much effort. It's so much effort. Her, she has to literally lean down to be in his pocket. What? Nah, bro. I'm sorry. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. This is insane. Now, what I wanted to say. Hold on. He's taller than me. This still looks terrible. This is atrocious. This is the terrible example you gave. And his pants are small. They're not even baggy. If it was baggy, this would work. This would work a lot more. Yo, bro, Tom Holland, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Oh, man. Spidey must be... <laughs> All right, I'm not saying that, chill. No, I know. I know. I just... I'm just looking at this. I'll be like, yo, you know how dumb I would look doing this shit? Might be more power to everybody who's gonna do it though. Like, do your thing. But here's what here's here's what I like. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you. Hold on. Oh, I'm about to show you something. This is what I like. Uh hold on, hold on. This is what I like. This is what I like right here. This right here? Hold on. It's about to get critical. This right here is critical. Hold on. Nah, except in fucking cookies, nigga. Except in fucking cookies, bitch. Hold on, I'm trying to find a pick. This right here? <laughs> oh my god. Fold it. I'm folding right here. I'm folding right here, bro. See the see see her hand moment? Her hand mo movement motion? Right here? This right here? Yeah. 
That got it. That got it. I'm sorry, I ain't got no choice. Sean seemed like the type to walk in front of his girl and not care whether she's falling. What the fuck type of dick sucking ass shit is that? I'm always behind my girl and every whoa, okay, for I don't have a girl. I'm just always behind whoever I'm with. I'm always behind whoever I'm with when we're like out and about and we like chilling and shit like that. Like I'm always going <laughs> I'm always gonna be I always got her back no matter what. So that's number one. That's not a leak. That's not a leak. That's a crazy little that's a crazy little thing you try to do right there though. Um second, this right here is so fire, bro. Like like just like hooks from the bike. Like where am I like oh my god, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Hands around my waist. Head on my shoulder. Head in your thighs. Bro, bro, you submissive? That's not submissive. Just show me that, you know what I'm saying, that you can take charge too. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I didn't really, I don't like being a little spoon unless we, we about to get into something. But then again, I don't be sleeping at people's house. I don't be sleeping at people's house like that. But we take naps every now and again. But like, I don't be doing all that. You know, like like I said, I'm not in a relationship. Chill. I'm not in a relationship. We chilling. But like, this is nice. I like this. That right there gonna have me uh, moving different. That and just taking me and massaging me random places. I don't know. I'm taller than Tom though. So at least like, I'd be like an inch and a half taller than her. And then it'd be even more fire. So it is what it is. Like, I'm not hating on little bro. He doing his thing, like big ups to Spidey. Nah, bro, I'm ticklish. I mean, and laugh. 